risen, ascended, glorified Lord, we worship you. May the wonder of your ascension inspire us and the gifts of your spirit empower us to go forward to make disciples of all nations. Amen. Dear Theophilus, in the first volume of this book I wrote on everything that Jesus began to do and teach to the day he said goodbye to the apostles, the ones he'd chosen through the Holy Spirit, and was taken up to heaven. After his death, he presented himself alive to them in many different settings over a period of forty days. In face-to-face -face meetings, he talked to them about things concerning the kingdom of God. As they met and ate meals together, he told them that they were on no account to leave Jerusalem, but must wait for what the Father promised. The promise you heard from me. John baptised in water. You'll be baptised in the Holy Spirit, and soon. When they were together for the last time, they asked, Master, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? Is this the time? He told them, you don't get to know the time. Timing is the Father's business. What you'll get is the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes on you, you'll be able to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, all over Judea and Samaria, even to the ends of the world. These were his last words. As he watched, he was taken up and disappeared in a cloud. They stood there, staring into the empty sky. Suddenly, two men appeared in white robes, and they said, You Galileans, why do you just stand here looking up at an empty sky? This very Jesus, who was taken up from among you to heaven, will come as certainly and mysteriously as he left. In a cloud. A cloud? A bit dramatic, wasn't it, Jesus? A bit over the top. Hands raised, floating heavenwards. And I'll lay odds that future artists will dress you in shining white and paint the sky deep blue to match your eyes. Okay, 
So there were some precedents. Elijah and his chariots and that fiery cloudy pillar thing that moved around the wilderness. But those were the old ways. You aren't like that. Is this really what you want us to remember about you, Jesus? That you disappeared in a cloud and that you now live somewhere above the skies, way beyond our reach. What about your stories, your friendship, your tears, your pain, your laughter? What about the way you believed in us, trusted us, sent us out to teach and heal? I'm not sure that you being alive somewhere where we cannot see you, talk with you, laugh and cry with you is going to be much help to us, Jesus. Please, can't you find a way of living with us? Close enough somehow for us to know that you're near. You said something once about a spirit, a Holy Spirit from God who would come to us. Does that mean you're coming back to us? And if you are, no dramatics this time, please, Jesus. Just come back to us quietly. No more clouds. Let us give thanks for all the signs of the Lordship of Jesus in our world today. For Christian men and women elected to public office. For those who serve Christ in other fields of public service. For all who seek to walk Christ's way in the world of business, commerce and industry. For those who seek to honour Jesus in the caring professions, they seek to honour Christ. We honour them. For congregations quietly working to welcome refugees and asylum seekers. For men and women of our faith struggling to overcome the depths of nations. To feed starving people and to house the homeless ones. And for all teachers, parents, carers and youth workers, guiding, nurturing and encouraging those in their care. And for people of all ages, celebrating the kingdom. They seek to honour Christ and we honour them. Amen.
All this day, O Lord, let me touch as many lives as possible for thee, and every life I touch do thou by thy spirit quicken, whether through the word I speak, the prayer I breathe, or the life I live. Amen. May the Spirit, who hovered over the waters when the world was created, breathe into you the life he gives. Amen. May the Spirit, who overshadowed the Virgin when the Eternal Son came among us, make you joyful in the service of the Lord. Amen. May the Spirit, who set the Church on fire upon the day of Pentecost, Bring the world alive with love at the risen Christ. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.